Dan, you with me over there, sir? I am. I'm very excited about this conversation. As, as we know, digital transformation is, uh, can be a lot of different things to a lot of different people. So um, I'm excited for what we're going to talk about today. All right. And so that's what we're going to start with today, right? It's just that um, we want to sort of set the stage. You see this concept or this terminology, digital transformation all over the place. Um, everybody defines it a little bit differently, too. And we really think that we're sort of in that second wave, if you will, of digital transformation. But here in italics, you're going to see this is the definition that we're going to be speaking to today, right? So we define digital transformation as that ongoing process using technology, people, and process in pursuit of new business models and revenue streams. So those are the three, sometimes you see three things mentioned, sometimes four things mentioned in the definition. We're going to stick with technology, people, and process, and you're going to see that our focus is going to be, or our emphasis, I should say, is going to be on the aspect of technology in this conversation today. So as we've looked over the past year, and maybe even a little more than the past year, um, we've tried to sort of distill some of the things that we've really seen out there affecting business overall, but specifically the direct selling landscape, right? Where we have that unique business model. So these are really the things that we have or are going to emphasize today, the whole need to attract distributors um, within those younger demographics, right? So that today, sometimes distributors see direct selling as what their mom did, what their dad did, yesterday's um, way to come to market. So that's one of the things that direct selling that we've seen in many, many companies, whether they be our clients, whether they be our prospects, that they are attempting to overcome. Um, then the other thing is to how do we compete with the other gig economy players, right? And, and you notice that we emphasize that word other because Dan, I think you'll agree with me, we see yes. ourselves as one of those gig opportunities that people can evaluate and look at. Yeah, and I think that, uh, Rich, you have an excellent point, and I'm going to try to jump in on you whenever I can. So if I cut you off, I apologize. That could be, that could be tough, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So one of the things that, uh, again, is we're seeing this attract younger, compete with other gig, uh, you know, this I really think is where we're going to see that a lot of this digital transformation is going to play critical roles in. And as we were coming up with this kind of the talking points and the topics for this conversation today, you know, this was one that we heavily debated uh, on, not whether or not it should be in there, but like, should this be in of itself its own conversation? Because it is a very critical one. So um, I think we're going to spend some time talking a lot about that today. But, uh, you know, also, um, you know, uh, kind of jumping into the next one. Go ahead. Go ahead, Rich. Uh, right, right ahead. Oh, that's okay. I mean, you're more than welcome to flow into that. But, you know, COVID-19, we've been living with it across the globe, right? Peaks and valleys of how this has affected us in many, many different ways. And as we think about what is really unique um, to the direct selling channel, right, it is that appeal of face-to-face. -face. Um, so that is, and whether that's face-to-face -face -face with a customer whether that's face-to-face -face with my team, whether that's face-to-face -face with um, corporate, right? At national conference and opportunity events and that kind of thing. So what has evolved as you, you know, as we talked about to meet some of these challenges. Absolutely. And then the number one, number one thing we, you know, see is that second point is you see this all over businesses, direct, inside of direct selling, outside of direct selling, those issues with supply chain. And how are we gonna deal with that? How do they affect the business? How can our distributors um, handle that 
and still make their businesses effective with that end consumer. Um, Dan and I just came back from the DSA conference where one of the presentations there was by a CEO who regularly meets with other CEOs across the world. And one of their topics with White House representation was, you know, how do we handle this whole supply chain crisis that, you know, we feel we're in across the globe today. And um, that person from the White House said that they don't see this being rectified anytime soon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, to that point, Rich, and is that, you know, when we start dealing with these supply chains, then of course it leads into customer, uh, the customer experience, the buyer journey. What is a consultant or distributor going to do to help ensure that, uh, that we do have that, still maintain that solid uh, shopping experience? Mm -hmm.